But when you spoke about uh, that interaction you had with your, I guess it was your leader at the time. Yeah. And he said you need to come prepared. And he's kind of getting you prepared for the next step and how you need to know what you're going to talk about. That kind of brings up a, a funny topic that I, I guess, a, an experience I have with executives, uh, generally executives. It's the way, it, I'll call it corporate lingo or executive talk, okay? Buzzwords. Uh, the, the clear example is synergy, all right? How do you guys feel about that in the workplace? And if you guys are proponents of that and you guys love using buzzwords, you can let me know. But in my opinion, this idea of using, uh, you know, corporate lingo, I'm going to call it corporate lingo to extend a conversation or to just, there, here's the point and let's just go everywhere around except for the point, but make everyone, here's the, the skill about it. When people use those buzzwords in that corporate lingo, the beautiful thing is you leave the meeting like, wow, that, wait, what the hell did we even get? Did we even address what we were talking about? It's like a gift in a weird way, mm -hmm. but I also think it's a curse. I want to know, what do you guys, uh, do you guys experience buzzwords a lot in, in your line of work? I used to when I was, uh, <laughs> in-house counsel and constantly dealing with uh, C-suites. You know, it's uh, a lot of the, I, I always found it uh, a little um, affected mm. um, rather than real. Um, but you know, a lot of that depends on it, how well you know the person. If you know the person genuinely talks like that, mm -hmm. well, then that's their communication style. Whereas if you know they're not really like that, but they're putting it on because they're 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 playing the part of of their job at the time, you know. It's it's not really that effective. Do you think they actually do that like at home? Like they go to their wife and they're like, hey, baby, no. in bed, we're up. <laughs> I, well, you, you never know. you never know. You yeah. never know. <laughs> 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 Honey, I'm gonna be out of pocket. Yeah. <laughs> really, you got a hole in your pocket? This what? <laughs> it makes no sense. Yeah. I think you. I think I think it. Ha everything has a time and place, right? So it depends on the audience of who you're dealing with. Um, with certain customers, I know to use the buzzwords right. that they I know they want to hear and right. it's going to pique their interest and mm. it's going to make them pay attention to me. But if I'm dealing with people who I'm working with, like, you know, when I was in a leadership position, I'm going to keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. They right. say that, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't say things in 100 words when I can say it in 10. Um, because you want to make sure that the person leaves understanding whether you're giving them directions or, or what they need to execute. So right. I, I think it has a uh, time and place. I now work for a software company and I find myself using some buzzwords. Like <laughs> people ask me to do something and I don't want to do it. I'm like, I just don't have the bandwidth and, that's <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I'm using it in, in everyday life, but it, because it applies, not because. I want to sound like I'm, I'm right. smarter. <laughs> right. So I think everything has a time and place. Yes, I agree. I feel like you hate buzzwords. I do. Yeah. I, I just feel it's unnecessary. I know, you know, when you have team meetings and stuff like that, and it, it can be used in a way to motivate, you know, your team members. But outside of that, I'm along with Keisha. Just keep it simple. Get straight to the point and move on. And that's what I always think with meetings. Sometimes we're just saying these words yep. to extend. You're not... That's right. Just yeah. get to the point so we can move on and right. continue working, right? Yeah. I think 90% of you poll people, 90% of people would say that 30 minute me meeting could have been, been an email. Yeah, right? I agree. So, I and <laughs> look, there's, and I don't want people to confuse buzzword with using, you know, comprehensive vocabulary. Yeah. Uh, using, finding the right word. The English language is, is really diverse and there's a million ways to say a lot of things. If you know something that is uh, a lot more precise mm -hmm. that you want to use, no, no yeah. but also know your audience right exactly so you're talking like a junior associate just came out of university and you just want to impress them then you're going to do nothing but confuse them um <laughs> yeah i think we're all on the same page on and this i one. think yeah. some i think some buzzwords should have a shelf life i don't <laughs> want to hear out of the box anymore i don't want to hear the word synergy um so i think i think we should retire some buzzwords. yeah it should be like slang it should like you know yes. change over time yeah. right the thing about we're on, I'm going to call corporate lingo instead of buzzwords. The thing about corporate lingo is that, again, you, you, they never get to the point and it becomes a word salad. We've all mm -hmm. heard of a word salad. And in the end, you just flub and flub and you realize nothing actually happened. Right. A lot of meetings, nothing actually happens. A lot is said. Yeah. And there's this uh, saying, I don't even know where I read it or heard it, that I would rather tell you well done more than I say well said. And a lot of people love getting told well said. That sounds great. But the people that really kill it in their careers and in life and in entrepreneurship are those that you say well done to. The people who actually do more than they say.